hey guys welcome back to target developers so guys this table we have made in earlier videos so how we fetch the json data in table format so in this we have used a normal table table tag so you can see our earlier videos for this so now in this video i will convert this normal table into angular material table so i will apply mat table here guys so this is the documentation of angular material and uh, you can read about this overview so we are building this type of table we are looking for this representation this type of table representation so we will use this and we will use this api guys mat table model we will import in app.model.ts so guys we are building this type of uh, uh, table in this video so guys back to the editor Visual Studio Editor. This is our code, guys. Uh, we are working in this component, stringlist.html, and this is a CSS file and this is a TS file, guys. So, so we have used this table tag. So we don't want this table. So we will comment this. Uh, back to the this documentation we will click here uh, so we will copy this table tag from here to here i will explain each line of this code we will copy the html guys we will minimize this we will paste so after pasting this code table we will remove this remove this so we have to copy and paste that ts file code also in this this html we have already copied and we have to copy this code also here they are using a we have to copy this code firstly this display name column string position and we will manipulate this and data source this two line we have to copy and we have to paste in the ts file and paste so guys as we all know that uh, this students we are getting we are taking array type student array and student data this data is coming from this json file student.json so actually we have made a json file here we are searching that json file string.json you will find this json we are printing in our table normal table so we have to print this json in our anglo material table so we are proceeding in this scenario so guys we are taking that student data in the at last students so we are copying this we are passing the data source so we have to put this dot students so this data source this dot students guys and we will pass this students in our html file guys go to html this data source line we have to manipulate the data source students so guys here what we are doing we are taking all the students let json objects these are the json objects we are taking all the students here guys then we will print every student's name here here we will manipulate this element just few minutes later so guys firstly i will explain earlier code what we are doing in the normal table tag we are taking and we are using ng for guys and let student of students so we are picking one by one student object from students so we are uh, typing this line in angular material here guys let element so we are printing one by one students in element guys it will take element one object of students every time and it will print name here guys it will print position name and all the properties of student guys we are taking here 
आईडी नेम ईमेल जेंडर वैल्यूज सो गाइस दिस इज अ एनजी कंटेनर वी हैव टेकन इनसाइड दिस एनजी कंटेनर दिस इज अ टीएच दिस इज अ हेडर हेड ऑफ द टेबल एंड दिस इज अ कॉलम टीडी कॉलम सो वी आर प्रिंटिंग इन इन दिस इंटरपोलेशन द डायनेमिक वैल्यू व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम जेसन गाइस एंड द here also a json this is a ng container this is a ng container again and this is a tr guys we are matching a displayed column met header row definition and this is again tr another row of displayed column we are taking in here ts file displayed column like this we are getting column position name weight symbol we will change the name according to our requirement so we will manipulate code now the position we will give position here name and we need name also but we don't need weight we want to we want to print email and gender so we will take email we will print email here email Gender. Open this. This is a column, guys. Here. This is element. Gender. We will save this. And uh, here also we have to change the again small and gender. We will save the files and we will look the error is coming or not. Go to the browser. So guys, our table is looking like this. Something is happen in the first column. We'll look. We are taking element dot position place. So according to our interface, we are taking ID, name, email, send. So it should be ID there. We will copy this ID and we will put here ID. It should print, it should print now. On this, so guys, it fixed number, name, email, gender. So we have required we have required this table in the Anglo material now. This is an Anglo material table, guys. We have achieved. Now we will put the heading above this. So we will press enter, guys. H one. We will give heading fetching all these student details, guys. We will save this, run this. So, guys, we have achieved fetching all the student details. So, our heading, guys. So we will manipulate some CSS. We will apply some CSS here. Plus, I have put some position here. Head. We will apply head here, guys. Already applied this. Give the here. Save this. What we have now. So guys, this is. Good position of fetching all the extra detail base. So we have achieved our target for this video's target. So we have convert our normal table into our Anglo material table. So guys, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon, guys. Thank you for watching, guys.